Mbuga National Park, best places to visit in Africa and the Middle East. You'll certainly spot plenty of wildlife in South Africa's massive game preserve, ranging from lions and rhinos to elephants and giraffes. Plus, the park's network of paved roads makes it easier to navigate than Serengeti, but its popularity means you're more likely to rub elbows with other visitors. Situated roughly 260 miles northeast of Johannesburg, the nearly 5 million acre Kruger National Park offers some of the best access to wild animals in Africa. The big five buffalo, elephants, leopards, lions and rhinos all reside here, as well as Nile crocodiles, hippos and rare birds like southern ground hornbills and lappet-faced vultures. But this sprawling wildlife sanctuary is home to more than just animals. Giant Baobab, Fever and Marilla trees tower above the park's savanna, thorn veldt and woodland landscape. What's more, Kruger's Marilla and Nksanatsini regions house the Albaceni and Masarini ruins, where Portuguese colonists and members of the indigenous Biafalabalwa ethnic group once traded metal products, beads, clothes and more. A trip to Kruger will undoubtedly bring you as close to nature as possible. To make the most of your time, consider going on a game drive or a bush walk. Many stop near prime animal viewing areas like Hippo Pool, the Kruger Tablets and the Red Rocks, where lions, hippos and birds regularly linger. Or, take a few days to camp and explore popular trails like Walhuta and Olifants. What you need to know There's a daily conservation fee. All visitors, including those who book safari tours, unless otherwise stated by tour operators will be expected to pay the park's conservation fee before entering. For non-South African residents, this means a daily charge of $23 per adult and $11 per child. Bring bug spray and a mix of clothes. Although most bugs in Kruger stay hidden during the day because of the heat, mosquitoes, some of which may carry malaria, are a common nuisance before sunrise and after sunset. To protect yourself from mosquitoes, change into pants and long-sleeved clothes at night and wear insect repellent with DEET, a chemical that limits mosquitoes' ability to smell you. Finalize airfare and safaris well in advance. Kruger offers more flexibility than other African parks due to its year-round access. However, safari tours book up quickly, especially between April and September. Kruger's peak season, and flight availability is limited throughout the year, so plan on booking about a year in advance. Getting Around Kruger National Park One of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to get around Kruger National Park is to book a safari tour. Safari guides know the park's roads and game viewing areas well, so you won't have to worry about getting lost while trying to spot animals. Many safari packages also cover food, lodging, game drives and transportation to and from a regional airstrip or Johannesburg. If you'd rather avoid a group tour, you can rent a car at most of Kruger's airports and SKU-Q's a rest camp. Car hires are also available from Johannesburg so are Tambo International Airport, JNB but you'll have to drive 244 miles, or about 4 hours, to reach the park. A faster, albeit pricier, option is to fly into Krugam Pumalanga International Airport, MQP, Huet Sprout Airport, HDS, Hendrik Van Eck Airport, PHW, or Skukusa Airport, SZK, from OR. Tambo. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel to get more videos.